the nominees for the Brawl Owen Inaugural, Spirit Halloween Award, are The Boogeyman I'm the Boogeyman And I'm coming to get you The Shockmaster Our partner is going to shock the world because he is the Shock Master Nightmare Freddy Mantor. Mantor? Trying to. Wait a whoa, hey, whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa. The Gobbledygooker. Is that all you do is gobble? <laughs> Sir Lanny Poffo. But it looks like Brett Davis remembers my night giving. Oh, I never thought I would live that down. Spirit Halloween Award. What a group there. Talk about the spirit of Halloween. I got to no, say. You know who should have been nominated for this is Mick Foley. That. You know, that's. Talk so about funny. a guy who yeah. has really made a career work with dumb looking co- dude love that, he, you know, he just put on sort right. of shades he'd get at a Halloween right. store. Absolutely. I mean, honestly, he, I could make any costume he wore for. Thirty less than less than ten dollars. Yeah, I mean, if look. The day, if it's the day after Halloween, I'm going to. If it's November second, I'm at uh, the Spirit Halloween uh, clear out sale. I can make any Mick Foley costume for less than ten dollars. I guarantee it. And I understand he's a cheap guy. I love Mick Foley. And you think about like WFMU, who is a better like wrestling personality for WFMU than Mick Foley? I know he's. A, I know the Garbage Man Matt Warwick is a huge fan. I know Michelle with one L is a huge fan. Uh, so maybe if this was the WFMU Spirit Award, I could see Mick Foley making a case for Mick Foley because he's brought so much joy to the people around here. But Spirit Halloween Award, you know, I just think... I should, I should know, Mick Foley is not even nominated. Mankind is not a scary enough character to win any of these no, awards. No, Mankind, I mean, Mankind was scary when he started. No, he wasn't. Yeah. Not scary. <laughs> Not scary. No, no, no. I was a child. I was more scared of Steve Austin than Mankind with his goofy boiler room promos. Because because you are scared of men. You're scared of real men. Yeah. Mankind. You're not scared of Mankind. I understand. He's weak. He's he's, he's already... Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. on. I will mute you. Hold on. Now, maybe he was scary in 1996. Maybe he wasn't. But by 1999, when he's got a sock puppet on the end of his hand and he's just this dork, it's like, no, not scary at all. I understand that. Cactus Jack, scary, but not in Halloween. I mean, this is just like a guy who like woke up in a parking lot and then jumped through plates of glass and set himself on fire. Like, cool, but not scary. Like, scary in a way where I feel bad for you. Not scary in like a titillated way. And then there's Dude Love, who's pathetic. So, I, yeah, I definitely understand why Mick Foley was not nominated. He's not a Halloween wrestler. But the Spirit of Halloween Award is one where, I mean, if he was going to get nominated for anyone, it would be this one. And yeah, I mean, not, these are not scary. A, uh, no. I mean, the, uh, the Boogeyman is gross. The gobbly worms. The, gob, the gobbly gooker is pure joy. It's a man in a turkey suit. <laughs> uh, the Shockmaster is funny. It's it just, is a man wearing a, a stormtrooper helmet dipped in uh, uh, glitter, <laughs> glitter, and a like just a, a weird long vest. And his first appearance, he falls through a, uh, a wall, a piece of a set, and his and his helmet comes off. <laughs> And then it, like he puts it back on, it's all crooked, and he's just kind of trying. Look, to... If you've never seen the Shockmaster on YouTube, just look up Shockmaster, and you will see it. Uh, but and then you got Sir Lanny Poffo, who is weird. A guest two weeks ago on the show uh, explained that he uh, purchased the the costume with his own oh, money. Not, no one asked not, him to. He he purchased a suit of armor. But and, we should say it's a suit of armor. Yeah, and he would wear it into the ring, and uh, because it was cheap armor, it did not last very long. Uh, the other wrestlers would bully him, so they destroyed the armor, and right. then he had to stop being Sir Lanny Poffo, and he oh. had to start being Leaping Lanny. I, 
and he leapt into our hearts. Now we got to get to the winner here because I can't wait any longer. I got to know who is the winner. Uh, also, uh, honorable mention of Nightmare Freddy, who is just oh, a man in a Freddy Krueger mask and a like a leather fedora. Not even like the right kind of hat. <laughs> yeah, and the children in the audience loved him. Yeah, su- super baby face, white meat baby, baby face. face. I, don't blame I, don't, I don't feel good. Can we postpone this to a later date? I just don't feel good Freddy, right now. Freddy, under the mask. Freddy, 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 Freddy. I think you can tell who the crowd's behind. Freddy, Freddy. Buddy Landau. Just kind of wiggled to the ring. Uh, so, yeah, that's Nightmare Freddy. But we're going to announce the winner now of the Spirit Halloween Award at Brawloween. And the winner is... Ooh. Darren, it's our favorite. The third member of the wrestling club, Sir Lanny Poffo. Oh, my goodness. Really? Lanny, I didn't see that one coming. Yeah, I was. I swore it would be Boogeyman. Like I, um, I like saw winner right next to Boogeyman's name. Boogeyman, but, maybe just the costumes a little too good. Uh, yep, and again, just kind of grossed me out. But look, we're gonna go to the winner now. Hello, Brett Davis. This is Lanny Poffo. Thanks on again. The beach. And uh, it looks like a wrestling club with Darren and Brett on WFMU are awarding me with the Spirit of Halloween Award. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm having a little Wi-Fi problem. I hope this gets out to you, but I am in Ecuador, not for a week, not for a month, but for the rest of my life. And uh, I love it here. And behind me is the Pacific Ocean, and this is my balcony. I'll tell you about Halloween. It was Halloween, October 31st, 1989, that I wrestled Hulk Hogan. This is the worst audio that's yeah. ever been on WWE. Took out the boring parts and played it for the world on uh, Thanksgiving weekend. So this is the poem I did then. And he's telling a Thanksgiving poem. Smart enough to put Hulk Hogan Wait, out. is this a Thanksgiving this poem? A devastating plan. You're looking at the future. Brett, this is hard to listen to. Who appeals to the modern thinking fan? When I emerge victorious with gold around my waist, I shall be the most plendiferous of all. Don't tell me Hulk is six foot eight and I'm just six foot two. Between the ears, I'm over ten feet tall. He wants to wrap his 24 inch pythons around my neck and give his famous What You Gonna Do? By the power of the genius and the world's smartest man, rely on my incredible IQ. Anyway, when I think of Halloween, I my brother's gonna be ten years deceased on uh, May 20th of 2021. And I just think it's fantastic that boys and girls still get dressed up as the Macho Man. Ooh, yeah. And uh, that means he's never going to go away. He made an impact in this world. It's going to last forever. Thank you, Brett, and goodbye. Go he with steps it. outside steps onto outside the beach. Into a, into a hurricane. <laughs> you know, I can literally... I can hear the I can hear the water receding from the beach and exposing the you know the 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 quarter mile of sand before a tsunami comes. I can hear it. He's he's not only visiting Ecuador, he's staying there. Why did Lanny have to flee the country?